Welcome back, everybody. I'm Jeff Barton, and I'm your host for the Las Vegas Real Estate Show. We're on each and every week, and thanks very much for tuning in. We do appreciate it. We get a lot of great feedback on the show and the information that we try to provide to you. There's all kinds of ways that real estate works here in the Valley. As everyone who lives here knows, there is opportunity here. There are ways that you can make money. There's also a long-term strategy of just buying a home and living here for 30 years, paying it off, and at the end, you have a tremendous asset in your uh, portfolio or in your uh, way that you can retire and use money in that house to be able to pay your daily expenses. One of the things that's really important and probably the most important thing about the house buying process, sure, you have to find the best house in the best location. And yes, you have to work with good professionals who know what they're doing and have integrity. But let's face it, if you can't finance that property, if you don't have cash, how are you going to be able to make sure that you can get what you want when you want? It's the loan process. Now we talk a lot about loans, different types of loans, the way hard money works, the way conventional VA, FHA, all of these processes to get you the property that you need. But the main thing about when you apply for a loan in order to make sure that you get a loan is that relationship between you, your agent, and you and the mortgage professional or lender or bank that you're using. Understand that most of the people that you're going to talk to when getting a loan are not the people that are going to make the decisions for your loan. Those people are called underwriters and if necessary has to get kicked up to upper management. Like let's say you have a property and the, the valuation isn't coming in or your assets and your income doesn't seem to quite match up to what the property needs are in terms of the appraisal, you're gonna to have to have obviously a secondary opinion. But that relationship between you and the underwriter, you and your agent depends on the documentation that you submit. Make sure that the documentation is easy to follow that the income is something that anybody can understand. Having difficult income issues, having difficult employment issues, having verification which is not simple only makes the process harder. So understand that the documentation you give your real estate agent, the documentation that you give your loan broker or bank is as important as anything else in the process because let's face it, without financing, you're not gonna get the property that you want. Anyway, I'm Jeff Barton. We have a terrific lineup today. Really happy that you tuned in for the show. And I'm your host for the Las Vegas Real Estate Show. We'll be right back. Are you experiencing hair loss? We have the solution with no drugs, no surgery, and no side effects. Experience 100% pain-free results with Super Grow Laser Cap System, featuring 272 professional-grade lasers that make your hair thicker and fuller naturally. Use it 15 minutes a day, three times a week, and notice your hair growth in as little as three months. Visit online at irevivelaser.com to order your Super Grow Laser Cap today and experience unbelievable results. irevivelaser.com Successful Strategies International offers state-of-the-art PMP certification in an entire curriculum of project management, risk management, portfolio and program management by using unique learning techniques such as online learning, simulations, and facilitator lead programs. Our clientele consists of some of the biggest Fortune 500 companies in existence. SSI has trainers all across North America, Europe, and Asia to help meet your project management needs. Learn more at ssi-learn.com. That's ssi-learn.com. Dot com. Ruthless Cowboys, keeping the American dream alive and creating jobs one t-shirt at a time. From fabric to design, Ruthless Cowboys makes 100% American-made apparel that hardworking Americans are proud to wear. At RuthlessCowboys.com, you can shop for shirts and accessories for the cowboy or cowgirl in your life. Head to RuthlessCowboys.com, check us out on Facebook and Instagram by searching Ruthless Cowboys. Ruthless Cowboys, we're all about family, country, and keeping it all American. RuthlessCowboys.com. Want to know how to create more business and save money? Simple. The answer is video. Video shares are the fastest growing form of word of mouth advertising. And according to InternetRetailer.com, visitors who viewed a business video were 85% more likely to buy after watching it. People today are on the go. They don't have time to read text, but they have one minute to watch video. At HD Video King, we not only create quality video that's right for you, we coach you on how to get the most from it. Call today. Our award-winning staff are ready to assist.
Welcome back everybody. I'm Jeff Barton. I'm your host for the Las Vegas Real Estate Show and we're on each and every week. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, we do appreciate it. We are on in Las Vegas live and uh, we really appreciate when you um, call up, when you email us, when you ask us questions about what's going on in the real estate world. And why is that? Because, uh, hey, that's what we do. And every time we answer a question on air, we help other people who are in the, either the investment world or they're buyers they want to buy or they're sellers they want to sell. And in regards to that, we try to bring guests to the show who are exciting, informative, and somebody who is uh, obviously uh, lives up to that bill is our next guest is Susan Brock. And I really want to welcome you to the show. Thank you. I'm super excited. Great. Thank you very much. And you're with Realty One Group, right? I am. Tell us a little bit about Realty One. How are they? Realty One Group is a fairly new company. And okay. in Las Vegas, we sell the most homes in the city. Okay. Um, we have a market share of about 11%. And um, they have opened a lot of franchises throughout the country now. So they're quite a large city or I'm sorry, a large company. Right. And they're also one of the fastest growing real estate companies in the country. What sets you apart? When you talk to a buyer, or a sell by the way, do you like to represent buyers or sellers? Uh, I'm about 50-50. Okay. It, it depends on the market. Right now, I'd rather be representing sellers, obvious, Absolutely. for you know obvious reasons. Right. But um, it's a challenge to represent buyers, and, and I like a challenge, so it's good. Yeah, I know. I, I represent buyers too. I still do that in, in my own real estate practice. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I find often is that buyers really don't know what they want. And when they say they want something, they end up showing you something on Zillow or some other you know, outlet that is completely different. How do you handle that when you're trying to really satisfy a customer's you know, wants and needs? Right. And I, and I get that. And right off the bat, you usually get stuff from Zillow and it's right. always in contract and or it never even was on the market. But as soon as you explain to them that that's not a really great source to look for, you know, for houses, then you start sending them stuff that you explain where it comes from, straight from the MLS. You need to look at it. In this market, you need to look at it the day it comes out. Right. You need to go see it that day or the next day, and you need to make an offer right then. So um, if you, you know, in this technology age, buyers are actually pretty smart. So. When you explain to them, you know, this process, they completely understand. They buy right in and they jump it up. You know, they, if they really, really want to buy, they jump on the wagon and they listen. So it's not so bad. Who do you like to represent? Millennials or um, Gen X or um, baby boomers? Um, well, I think I have a connection with all of them. Okay. I have kids that are in their 20s. Right. You know. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> so so I, can, I can connect with them. Um, you know, I like retired people just because they're, you know, they're usually cash for one thing when right. they buy. Yeah, that makes it easier. Yeah, yeah. And, and they're usually looking for something in, uh, you know, the retirement communities. And we, we actually have more, more products available in the retirement communities than we do as far as single fam or uh -huh. as far as uh, one stories. Right. As you know, Las Vegas is not known for having a lot of one stories. Right. And they're priced higher than a two-story. So it's a challenge unless they want to go in the retirement community. Then there's a lot more available. Where so. are you from? Are you from Las Vegas yourself? No, I'm from Michigan. Okay, right. I heard the, the Midwest yeah. accent. Yeah. yeah and uh, bringing out. that to Vegas is, is nice, right? Because that's more of a, I guess, yeah. folksy and really much more of a, a human approach as opposed to something yeah. on the West Coast or maybe New York. Yeah, I can definitely connect with other Midwestern people and right. even New Yorkers because... Right. Um, well, uh, we have a lot of the same values if you're from the Midwest. Sure. You know, uh, hard work ethic. Um, pretty much your handshake is, you know, a, is golden. So um, I definitely connect with those people. But I think once I get to know pretty much anybody, I can, you know, I can read them and figure out what they need from me and hopefully give it to them. That's very important. Obviously, when you're dealing with people you really don't know, you have to kind of read what they're doing, read. Um, you know what messages they're sending you beyond what they're saying to you like you don't right. know their financing element how do you how do you ask people about their financing do you find it difficult or you do uh, it's not too difficult but I but I don't bring it up right away mm -hmm. just because I want them to get to know me a little bit um, pretty much you have to bring it up before you even go out with them anywhere because you need to understand well you need to help them understand what fi financing can help you get your offer accepted or it can hurt you from getting your offer accepted so how do you once, mean that what do you mean 
How can it hurt you? Is that well, because of the FHA versus all cash? FHA or out-of-state lenders. If oh, you see. get a local lender, they're faster. They have in-house underwriting. Mm -hmm. They're more reliable. They have, a, they have a tighter connection with the realtors because they want to keep our business so they get things done. If you're out-of-state, you know, like right now I have a client who wants to use his Kansas City lender and um, I keep telling her to send me a different pre-approval letter because her pre-approval letter wouldn't pass muster with us with a, um, a seller agent here it just wouldn't it doesn't have enough information doesn't even say what kind of loan it is doesn't say how much money right. down right I mean it's not going to get accepted with that and I'm trying to explain to her but she doesn't understand because it's not her market Right, exactly, and, and the specifics that have to be on, let's deal with that for a second. So if people are watching and they're saying, oh my gosh, I, I'm trying to buy a house, what do I have to have on this letter? Uh, you, you have to have what kind of loan it is, conventional, FHA or VA. Right. You definitely have to have that. You need the purchase price, the, the, purchase, the top purchase price of the buyer on there. And she had put the loan price. Well, the loan price is completely different than the purchase price. Of course. Depending on how much they can put down. Right. And he just happened to be able to put down a lot. So it really, you know, messed with our offer. So anyway. How did you explain that? You know, obviously as an agent, you've got to wear all kinds of hats. So obviously yeah. explaining this. Well, the buyer understood completely, but I was dealing directly with his lender. I see. And I was trying to, you know, hold down a relationship that was out of respect and it got to the point where, you know, some people always want to be right. And uh, so it got, I had to like, you know, kind of maneuver around. Right. No, uh, there's for, an old saying that, uh, do you want to be right or do you want to get paid? Right. You know, so the, yeah. I always want to get paid in, in any business. And I tried to put it in the best interest of the buyer, which is, you know, uh, she had a relationship with him. So, right. you know, I tried to make her understand that this is what, you know, we want to get, we want to help him get what he wants. And this is what I need. To help, you know, but it, it eventually got done. It just took about four emails, but <laughs> great. And, uh, your area of expertise, area wise, in Vegas, or do you work the whole city? Valley, I do work the whole city. city yeah, okay. um, I would say um, I gravitate towards Green Valley, Henderson, sure. Sun City, Anthem. Um, I know those areas because that's where I've been living for thirty-five years. Mm -hmm. So, but um, but yeah, it, it's pretty easy to get to know pretty much any area. Southwest is easier to to sell a house sometimes right. just because there's a lot of little pockets mm -hmm. of houses and if you're not so picky about location as far as neighborhood wise it's still a great area but there's more opportunity and price wise it's you know kind of a little better price wise where where are prices going where are they going yeah <sighs> <laughs> yeah, where are they going? Yeah, exactly. Well, uh, well, I did uh, just read Realtor.com put out on May 1st that Las Vegas, the metropolitan area, is the number one from year to date or yep. year over year number one um, in price increases at 12.6 percent. Beat mm -hmm. out San Francisco. Right. Beat out all those California cities. So. But we're still not quite at our peak that we were at in 2006, 2007. Amazing, really. Yeah. When you think about how hot this market is and right. how scarce properties are, and yet we're still not at that peak. That, that right. makes you think about it, right? We're getting there close, though. We're getting there soon, and it's probably going to happen quick, except for high rise. Mm -hmm. High rise, they, got, they, got the, they took the worst hit of any, of any property in Vegas. And you know Vegas took the worst hit as, as a metropolitan area. But right. High rises took the worst hit. Which which high rises are you talking about? All I, of them? I all of them like Montour, um, Trump, yeah, uh, MGM, Cosmopolitan, right. Madara, um, Beer, right, all of them. MGM, they they cost more to build, right? So their prices sure. already started out really high. They were selling, I think the lowest thing in two thousand six was probably five or six hundred thousand. Well, at the low they were selling for a hundred thousand. Right. Like hundred and thirty thousand. Right. right. And now they're still down at three hundred and something. Right. And the financing is almost non existent yeah, because of the hit the banks took. Hey, listen, thank you very much, Susan, for coming on the show. It's great information and you're Thanks. a terrific agent. You want to shout uh, out your phone number just so in case people Yeah, want to... sure. Um, my number is seven zero two four two three six eight six two and uh, I'd be happy to help. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming on the All show. Right, thanks. And I'm Jeff Barton. I'm your host for the Las Vegas Real Estate Show. And uh, we'll be right back.
Want to know how to create more business and save money? Simple. The answer is video. Video shares are the fastest growing form of word of mouth advertising. And according to internetretailer.com, visitors who viewed a business video were 85% more likely to buy after watching it. People today are on the go. They don't have time to read text, but they have one minute to watch video. At HD Video King, we not only create quality video that's right for you, we coach you on how to get the most from it. Call today. Our award-winning staff are ready to assist. Are you experiencing hair loss? We have the solution with no drugs, no surgery, and no side effects. Experience 100% pain-free results with Super Grow Laser Cap System, featuring 272 professional-grade lasers that make your hair thicker and fuller naturally. Use it 15 minutes a day, three times a week, and notice your hair growth in as little as three months. Visit online at irevivelaser.com to order your Super Grow Laser Cap today and experience unbelievable results. irevivelaser.com. Successful Strategies International offers state-of-the-art PMP certification in an entire curriculum of project management, risk management, portfolio and program management by using unique learning techniques such as online learning, simulations, and facilitator lead programs. Our clientele consists of some of the biggest Fortune 500 companies in existence. SSI has trainers all across North America, Europe, and Asia to help meet your project management needs. Learn more at ssi-learn.com. That's ssi learn Dot com. Ruthless Cowboys, keeping the American dream alive and creating jobs one t-shirt at a time. From fabric to design, Ruthless Cowboys makes 100% American-made apparel that hard-working Americans are proud to wear. At RuthlessCowboys.com, you can shop for shirts and accessories for the cowboy or cowgirl in your life. Head to RuthlessCowboys.com, check us out on Facebook and Instagram by searching Ruthless Cowboys. Ruthless Cowboys, we're all about family, country, and keeping it all American. RuthlessCowboys.com. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Jeff Martin. I'm your host for the Las Vegas Real Estate Show. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for sticking with us. Uh, we're on each and every week and we bring great guests to the show, information, things you're going to know. Look, it's spring buying season and you're going to have to know what it is that's out there in the marketplace, uh, the pitfalls, the things that can go wrong, all the things that are active in a transaction, and that's what we want to talk about today. And with us once again, our great guest and panel. Um, welcome, guests and panel. <laughs> Reed Blake from uh, Business Capital Experts. Reed, how are you? Dandy. Excellent. Thank you. And Alexis um, Young from uh, Keller Williams, uh, Las Vegas. Thank you for State. having me. And thank you very much. How's everybody doing? Okay. Good. Good. Excellent. Glad okay. to be here. Okay. So I want to get into the, the bummer of all of our markets every time it rolls around, especially when we get um, prices going up, scarcity of product, and people that want to get into properties. And what I'm talking about is, of course, fraud. And uh, whether it's in the real estate contract itself or whether it's in the financing aspect, have you seen it? Do you recognize it? And what do we do about it when that happens? Well, yeah, we're seeing it. Um uh, less so with, with, with our primary clientele, which are uh, investors coming for unsecured cash, you know, business lines of credit, unsecured cash loans. We're, we're seeing it less there. We've got a really, we got a, for, for every reason, we've been really fortunate, had a lot of success, we got straight up people. It's, it's curious though, that um, I've had a couple people, just anecdotal, comment about an area that's um, not, not really always addressed. They're experiencing fraud with respect to how uh, the the, um, in the in the fix and flip market, yep. the quality of the fix, if you would. They're coming in from, from whole, to, to get the property and discovering that the quality of the materials, et cetera, aren't matching what they're seeing. So it's a kind of a, a little bit... They're, it's a little bit different, right? Yeah, Where they're getting chipped on the quality, not so much the rest. Because the margins are thinner, and obviously anybody that's doing flips realizes that the only way that you can make any money is to make the margin consistent over yeah. the term of the loan or the term of whatever the fix-up is. Yeah, so I've had two home inspectors reference that, saying that they're being told installation's this, and it, you know, on the documents, and it's really this. Uh, oh, I see. You know, things like that. There might be some uh, shortages on square footage. There may be a little bit less, a little bit smaller bedroom than there was. You know, yeah, some no, no, like I that. understand. I'm just curious. I just thought it was interesting. Alexa, what? No, I definitely agree with you on that. Um, but from my experience and other realtors' experiences, I've heard um, there's fraud with taxes. There's yep. fraud with 
um, lying on your mortgage application, that's a big one. And there's also fraud on uh, even the offer. So we're not, we're not psychic. Um, we like to try to be. Right. But you need to convey to us, being the buyer or the seller, yep. um, what your current situation is and what your realistic goals are. Because if you try to hide something or you don't want to reveal something, that's actually hurting you. And so what I don't know and what your lender doesn't know um, is going to hurt you in the long run. And I've seen it happen and it's actually very detrimental to the buyer um, because you go through the inspection, you go through the appraisal, and then when you're all the way almost done to that very day, the important closing day, um, it falls apart because you ultimately lied and it could have been simply prevented if um, you would have disclosed a few things. Sometimes they're simple and then sometimes people are actually just flat out lying so they can actually... Okay, here, here's a scenario. I'm a buyer. I want this property and I know I'm going to get a loan. But I write down on my um, uh, purchase contract that it's going to be all cash. Now I have all proof of all cash, but at the same time, once you get it tied up, you go, hey, I'm going to get a loan. What happens? Is that a lie? Is, it, you know, is that fraud? Yes. Well, that's your chance for that, yeah. <laughs> yes. So you cannot do that, and I can't stress it enough. You cannot halfway through the process change the agreement or the terms in the offer because the offer is the offer no matter if it's investments or if it's a personal. Right. And you can't change from cash to conventional. You can't change from conventional to cash because everything has to be amended. And so it's not just you in the transaction, there's someone else. And if they don't want to wait for you, then that's it. You, you've completely lost. Now, uh, when we're talking about another form of, of, uh, of fraud is in the documentation for the loan. Right. Somebody looks at documentation and they rely on that documentation. Let's say it's falsified W-2s or the employment information is quote unquote accurate but not real, i.e. they've made up a website, they've made up a false phone number, you're calling them for verification, everything checks out but it's fraud. So um, uh, fraud in the mortgage industry obviously is difficult and uh, hard to catch. Uh, I know you can catch it in the process, in the processing angle of it. Uh, do you see a lot of it happening, like falsified uh, income documentation or falsified W-2s? What, what are you seeing from your end in the yeah. business capital? Yeah, on our side, we don't see very much of it. It's really, yeah, I mean, you do. I'm not going to suggest it. We're not exempt from it. You do have some bad actors. Sure. All right. But generally speaking, uh, that's not the case. It's probably less than 1%. But uh, our approach is real straightforward. You fudge. You lie. You cheat. That's who you are, what you are. We cut the relationship off. We don't. I mean, we're helping them obtain unsecured, you know, cash loans and things like that. Right. Uh, you know, they get to deploy how they choose. We got to work with people of, you know, high character, high character, high caliber, you know, things like that. So when you deliberately misrepresent fundamental stuff, you're just not a good person. So we don't work with it. I think I think most folks in our industry also choose that choose that path. You know what I mean? The fees, yeah, the I fees do. aren't worth it. I do. I think the stress of the of the deal and. Compound that with the stress in the market makes people do what they wouldn't normally do. Like if we're in a down market, you might find real estate agents, brokers, maybe other people who are professionals who aren't making the kind of money they need to make, do things that aren't necessarily legal right in order to get paid because, hey, it's a down market. I think there is such a, a fine line between a market that is healthy for everybody versus that that makes people do what they don't want to do. Yeah. And in that, I, I just wanted to talk, uh, let's see, yeah, reducing stress. So how do we reduce stress within the purchase process itself in order to alleviate some of these quote-unquote um, stresses in the, in the marketplace that might help uh, you decide whether to do something right or wrong? Well, I think the number one way to alleviate stress on all parties is to be honest up front and you being the consumer, client, buyer, seller, whatever you may be, um, you need to be honest and forthcoming with what you're trying to do and what kind of results you would like. Because ultimately, we're all here to advise you and help you in the best way possible. But if you can't communicate with what you want to do, then um, how are we supposed to help you? Right. Yeah, I think Alyssa's right. The, the, <clears throat> sometimes, at least on our side, every now and then, um, and, I, and, and I hear about it from the mortgage folks, 
Sometimes they feel like the, their mortgage people, it's a little adversarial. They're trying to you know, right. convince you of something instead of recognizing you know, that we're you know, technically all on the same team. Right. You know, our agendas are the same. Our end results are a little bit different. Client wants the money in order to be able to acquire X property, right? Our goal is to get them funded so that we you know, are deploying capital and we get paid you know, for those kinds of things. So our agendas are the same. So as long as they can be you know, tied in the right way, honesty, upfrontness, right from the beginning, it's great. In reducing the stress, I think that, you know, and one of the things that we do, and we're, you know, we're adamant about this, is we, um, we uh, sort of pre, we, we underwrite everybody in advance before they actually go to the funding sources right. underwriting. So we have that all down. We gather all that information. We have it all wired, and we sit down with our clients, and we walk right through it. You know, we recap it, say these are the strengths. These are your strengths, and these are your weaknesses. This is what you look like to unsecured funding sources or your property looks like or whatever the case may be if it's an asset back play we do all of that in advance so they get it so once we once they make the step boy it's quick it's fast it's easy because it's already been done in advance no so, i think that's yeah. the way that i think all transactions should be done by getting the hard work up front and out of the way before you yeah. either submit the offer or submit the loan yeah what's the what's that old uh, carpenter's axiom uh, measure twice cut once kind exactly of yeah. right hey thanks very much for coming on the show once again great panel Thanks very much. Thanks, Jim. Thank you. Okay, very well. And I'm Jeff Barton. I'm your host for the Las Vegas Real Estate Show. We'll, we'll see you next time. Want to know how to create more business and save money? Simple. The answer is video. Video shares are the fastest growing form of word of mouth advertising. And according to internetretailer.com, visitors who viewed a business video were 85% more likely to buy after watching it. People today are on the go. They don't have time to read text, but they have one minute to watch video. At HD Video King, we not only create quality video that's right for you, we coach you on how to get the most from it. Call today. Our award-winning staff are ready to assist.